I just finished what I consider possibly my finest modeling achievement to date. I don't say that as a brag. I say that due to the size of the materials and the all up weight of the model. This is a mini stick. So that's a class of indoor free flight that has a maximum wingspan of seven inches, a two and a half inch maximum cord, seven inch maximum propeller. I believe the motor stick can't be more than five inches. The overall length of the model can't be more than 10 inches. The all up weight of the plane must be a minimum of 0.53 grams without the motor. This one came out at 0.58 grams. I think I would have no trouble hitting that weight except this plan here. This is called the Biscayne Baby Mini Stick by Dave Lindstrom, 1992 plan. Called for 15 thousandths thick balsa wood on a propeller. When I sanded the 30 second sheeting I started with, when I got down to 20 thou, I stopped. Mostly for durability. Did not want to go that light. To offset it, it called for the tail boom to taper from an eighth by a sixteenth down to a thirty-second of an inch both ways. So that would be taper this way and this way. I only taper it this way, again for durability. So that's probably my difference in weight on the model. The other restriction on this model is you cannot use microfilm. So this is um, polyfilm, which they claim is about as heavy as the heaviest microfilm. Nice thing about this, I've heard with microfilm, if you were to touch it, you would put a hole in it. It's that delicate. There are a couple more restrictions in this class of model. One of them being the surface area of the stabilizer cannot exceed 50% of the surface area of the wing. And you cannot use variable pitch propellers. This may be a small weight penalty, but I like it. And that's a dual hanger on my prop. It's nine thousandths wire, the prop shaft. The advantage of a double hanger is better control transferring the motor from the stooge onto the model. You can see I have a 15 thousandths hole drilled in the rear hanger with a small slot cut into the hole. So I can thread the prop shaft through the front hole and then snap it into the back hanger. I have a tiny bead on the front. I have whipped the hanger to the motor stick with six pound spider wire. I have the rear hook whipped onto the motor stick with the six pound spider wire also with a tiny piece of balsa wood for a brace. Again, nine thousandths music wire here, same as the prop shaft. Standard construction with the tissue tubes for the pylon post, the wing pylon post. 
even at 20 thousandths thick, you can see the transparency in the prop blades. Even with a plane of this small size, curb appeal is important to me. I like the wing plan form. I like the dual rudders. And I've been attracted to the mini sit class of indoor planes due to the size and the challenge of building this small and light and getting a decent flight. Mini sticks are capable of 15 minute plus long flights. The current world record holder, the guy I flew with in a gym out east for an evening, Rob Romash. At a category four site, 16 minutes, 39 seconds. I was also attracted to the name, the Biscayne Baby Mini Stick by Dave Lindstrom. This was a scratch build for me from Dave's plans. Um, did make a few changes. Calls for 12 thousandths music wire for the um, rear hook and the um, prop hook. I went with nine, that's what I had. Soda top aluminum for the prop hanger. I don't think they're thick enough today to use for that. Quite a bit of small wood on here. Leading trail and edge, 32nd by 120th, which is um, 50 thou. Leading trail and edge and ribs, the same as for the wing. This is um, the pattern for slicing the ribs. So that's a 32nd balsa. Here's the 120th again on the posts for the wing. And here is the 15 thou um, size for the prop blades, which I sanded 32nd balsa down to 20 thou. Standard construction, the uh, tubes for the wing posts. Made them from um, condenser paper. And here is the call out on the tail boom. Show both side and top view. So you're starting with 1 16th. So that's the width by eighth inch. That'd be the depth of it, height of it. And tapering to 30 seconds. So they show it tapering both ways, which I only tapered this way. There's a reference on the plan to Biscayne Bay. I don't know what Dave's association with that is, but I'm sure that's where the name came from. The Biscayne Baby. I have flown the model. Did it right here in the living room. I was concerned with it getting wedged between a piece of furniture and a wall and breaking, but I wanted to check the climb and the turn. The plan calls for 3 sixteenths of incidence on the tail boom angle and a quarter inch of offset for a left turn. The little bit I got to watch it fly in the living room, I had to increase the um, left offset from a quarter inch to about a half inch and otherwise it pretty much flew off the board. That was a good looking turn to me and I only put in like 500 wines. I flew it on a 10 inch loop of 30 thou rubber. The plans call for 30 thou rubber 10 to 12 inch loop. So I have this 10 inch loop made up and I've also made up another motor 12 inch loop 
but this one's 35 thou rubber. Figure this would really get me up in the ceiling, like at the Breading Community Center with a 20 foot high plus ceiling. I have a couple of my other indoor models out here for size reference. Here is the parlor mic. So this is a much more robust construction. I flatten the living room here all the time with no worries about breakage. But it's a 10 inch wingspan with an eight inch prop versus seven inch wingspan, six and a half inch diameter prop. And this is covered in condenser paper. This is a wonderful little flyer, but this Paramite is three times as heavy as the mini stick. This is a gram and a half mini stick coming in at 0.58. So roughly um, three times the weight. Here is my original design Easy Bay. Bodacious. This has a 18 inch wingspan, 12 inch diameter prop, same covering, the uh, polymicrofilm. This Easy B weighs 0.85 grams. So less than twice the weight of the uh, mini stick with an 18 inch wingspan versus a seven inch wingspan. Very light, you don't even move fast with that plane. Here is Rob Romash's catapult hand launch indoor glider. I don't even know what this weighs. I don't have anything that I can weigh down to that light. Size comparison though, I've said it before, I'm not even sure how you build this. So that's the Biscayne Baby, my first venture into indoor mini stick.